Okay. Hey, I'm going to show you guys how how I stretch a canvas. I mean, there are probably people that do in all sorts of different ways, but this works for me. And uh, well, let's just get to it. These are all the supplies and all the tools that I'm going to use. First of all, let's see, I've got the canvas. Actually, the stretcher strips, the canvas, the keys, I buy it all from Dick Blick. The canvas is 10 ounce canvas. 10 ounce works for me. You can get heavier or lighter. But the lighter canvas tends to rip easier. You see what kind you like. One side is primed. The other side is unprimed. Primed is the white side. It's primed with gesso. You can prime your own, but I like to buy it that's already triple primed and it's, it's very uh, smooth. Then we have stretcher strips. I buy the regular size for smaller canvases. They have two sides, one flat side and the other has a bevel on it. This big bevel is great. That's, that's so the canvas doesn't have much contact with the, with the stretcher strip. These uh, are keys, corner keys. Where they go, here I'm going to put a couple of these together. These things, uh, these are cut to fit together. And the corner keys go in like that. And you'll see what they're for later. They sell these separately. Now, I'm going to get my face a little bit too. Now, often, uh, sometimes they'll include them with the stretcher strips, but often you have to buy them yourself. Okay, then you've got a hammer, scissors, staple gun. I use quarter inch staples. Brush, square, and this might be controversial to some of you guys, but I use a water bottle, spray a fine mist. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, let's get started. So first thing, let's go ahead and assemble the stretcher strips. This is 18 by 24, not that it really matters. And they're easy to fit together. In fact, these particular stretcher strips are pretty precision. Years ago, the ones you'd buy were a lot harder to square. I mean, you had to do it all manually. These things almost square themselves. So we just fit them, fit them together. With the bevel to one side and the flat to the other. Now, I use this hammer. I'm not going to hit it very hard. Just uh, right here at the corners, I'm going to like that. tap them together to where they're Here. There's a little, little slot here, and I'm lining that. There, when they come together, right here, that's that's pretty much means it's square. Check it with my square. And look at that. 
Look at that. Can't get much better than that. Okay. This is a little too big to put on the inside. Okay. Works fine on the outside. Turn it, I turn it all four ways because sometimes it can be square and and three sides, and then one side is out. I don't know how it just does. That works. And there, I really like these stretcher strips. I say they're precision. Okay. That's that. Next is we have to cut the canvas.